The name of the game these days is staying focused. Our cell phones, emails, people constantly asking for things makes it very difficult to be focused. And yet that's where we get most of our good work done is when we have the ability to concentrate on one thing for more than just a few minutes. Well now add on top of that the emotional strife that we sometimes go through. We've all been through it. You get a phone call from your wife or your husband and something has happened to your kid or your boss has called and said we need to see you tomorrow morning it's important or there's a situation with your parents that is gnawing at you and you're concerned about it. How do you stay focused when that's going on as well? How do you bring your A game when you have to lead a meeting, give a presentation, rally the troops when you yourself are not at your best? We've all had that situation. I've come up with three things. Physiologically, you got to get your body back in the game. You have to slow down in your breathing. You have to get present. Two, you have to stay focused on the task at hand. Not let your brain go off on some sort of wild, crazy goose chase trying to figure out a problem that at the time you can't solve. Stay focused on what it is that you're there to do. And then three, tell yourself, I know I've got this personal issue that I have to deal with, but I'm going to deal with it at this particular time in the future. Maybe it's the end of the day, maybe it's tomorrow, but do not let yourself get hooked into trying to solve it then. So in short, three things we really can do to stay focused when we are bombarded with emotional concerns. One, take a deep breath, slow down your breathing. Two, stay focused on your key purpose and mission. And three, tell yourself you will deal with these personal issues at some predetermined time.